Joining us now, former National Security Council Chief of Staff Fred Flights. So, Fred, we have a new report that says the FBI got a second anti-Trump dossier no one knew about from Christopher Steele to spy on Trump and his team after Trump took office. This is spying on a sitting president, and this is after the FBI, well after the FBI, had fired Christopher Steele as a source for leaking to the media. What's happening here? This is really a bizarre story, Liz. We know that Steele was fired by the FBI in November 2016. We know he was still talking to Bruce Orr, a former Justice Department senior official, until May of 2017. But Orr got in a lot of trouble for that, and that's why he had to resign in the, in, in, uh, the spring, I'm sorry, the fall of 2018. But, you know, whatever that involved, no one knew that there could actually be a second dossier. And according to this British news report, the second dossier covers from January 2017 until January 2021. And if this is true, that means Steele was being paid by someone to basically spy on and undermine Donald Trump while he was in office, and also well, means that someone other than Bruce Orr was receiving this information at the FBI or the Justice Department. Okay, so... I, this is spying on a sitting president, if this Daily Telegraph report is true. That, in other words, as you're saying, they're saying Steele continued to give the FBI a series of intelligence report during the Trump presidency about Russian meddling and alleged sex tape. And Trump has heatedly denied that. And the Mueller report uh, found no Trump-Russia collusion. And I mean, there's a story that the Christopher Steele met at a London hotel up the street from his company called Orbis. Uh, and claimed he had four discreet, hermetically sealed secret source networks with good info. I mean, this is the thing, Fred. This is after the CIA told the FBI under James Comey, what Steele is telling you is like internet rumor. Steele's own sources saying he embellishes. He's about gossip. This is about hearsay, rumors said over things like drinking beers, that he exaggerates. Why are they still talking to this guy? And why are they paying him money, potentially? Well, that's right. The Steele dossier had been completely discredited by mid-2017, and as time went on, it became more discredited. But this suggests that there was a continuous effort by the Justice Department and the FBI to keep working with Steele to undermine the Trump presidency. And we need to know who at Justice and the FBI were involved in this, because we know it wasn't Bruce Orr. Yeah, so, but Bruce Orr got in trouble for this. That's what you're saying. And the gone. other thing, too, is... He, he was gone. Yeah. And, Fred, the other thing, too, is James Comey would later testify that they knew by the winter of 2016 there was no there there in Trump-Russia collusion. Peter Strzok would say, later say the same thing. James Clapper would later say the same things. It was all falling apart. Then James Comey leaks to the media in order to get, uh, via Columbia uh, University professor, in order to get the Mueller appointed special counsel. And, and, you know, it was all falling apart. They didn't have a case, but they're still talking to Steele. Through, it looks like well into the Trump presidency. Who's doing that and who's got the vendetta? They didn't have the goods and they're still going after Trump with a really bad, you know, debunked source, Christopher Steele. There were career officers and the FBI and the Justice Department who continued to work against President Trump throughout his presidency. I mean, from all the leaks we've seen during the Trump presidency, that shouldn't come as a surprise. But the fact they would use this discredited individual, you know, discredited by everybody, including by Comey, to go after Trump, if this is true, it, it's just amazing. Yeah, and they're like behind the scenes, the FBI, according to the DOJ inspector general, was leaking. I mean, Andrew McCabe got fired for leaks. They're like, and they're, and they're and behind the scenes, sort of like cooking their cooking the books with media leaks that turned out not to be true. That, you know, that the news media have yet to retract what they were doing in 2016 and 2017 with their wrong reporting about Trump-Russia collusion based on Steele dossier information. So, you know, what do you think should be done if this, uh, on this Daily Telegraph report? What do you think should happen? Well, I, I think heads should roll. People should be prosecuted. We know that's not going to happen. I love Donald Trump. I think he was a great president. But I think he made an error in not cleaning out the Justice Department and the FBI when he was there. And I think he would tell us that now, that the senior position should have been, they should have all been emptied and reassigned 
by mid-2017 when it was apparent what was going on. But think of all these characters James Comey hired who were inhabiting you know, the, the highest to the lowest levels of the FBI. That's why this happened. The same thing in the Justice Department. Yeah, and you got to wonder, this is like a waste of taxpayer money, right? I mean, paying you know, tens of thousands of dollars to Christopher Steele, the tens of, you know, the millions of dollars spent on the Mueller probe for years and years. All right, Fred, we're going to stay on the story with you. We love your insights. Come back soon, okay? It's good oh, to see good you. Good to be here. Thank you.